Since we are talking about elections and rain, I'd like to say, if you smell mud, it's rain. If you smell tar, it's elections. And of course, <laughs> we do smell a lot of other things too. But most importantly, like Faye, you raised the point, what are we looking at and what would be our USP and what would be our leading point? We have some fantastic candidates, very highly qualified. Especially we have uh, Dr. Renuka Vishwanathan, who's a former IAS officer and the first woman district collector of Karnataka. We have two women out of 28 seats that we are contesting. We also have software engineers, aeronautical engineers. None of them, none of them, mind you, have any criminal case against them. That would be our USP. Along with that, of course, uh, I'm authorized to speak about the front of youth we are doing. Uh, there's a beautiful Chinese proverb. Give a fish, you feed for a day. Teach them how to fish, you feed for a lifetime. And that is precisely what we are doing. Okay. Setting up entrepreneurship cells so that we can gain employment. Employing them is better than, you know, during elections, giving out 500,000 rupees notes no, but... rather than employ them. There's this initiative we are doing, it's called the power of one. Even one person, one strong voice in the assembly can shake the system. Likewise, I'm sure even in your field, a strong voice, a good voice, something which can make a difference, let it be an assembly or even not a government. But if one is able to reach there who can shake the system and get the work done, then why not? Would you say in Delhi you've managed to say, shake the system and get the work done where uh, you have formed Delhi, a government Delhi, in majority? Yes, it is definitely a task. It is definitely a challenge. But uh, if you see the education, our government schools are better than private schools. Our mohalla clinics are doing extremely well. Many of them, many of them from the high classes, from the rich Delhi sectors are removing their schools from international and then they're joining us in the government schools. I think that is very impactful. Even no, though I'm we just, have all yes. the challenges, I, I understand we are what able you're to saying, do good work. But, but 28, and we are confident we will get a good number out of the 28. We are positive there will be a good pos a percentage. So it's not just one. There would be a good unity of our MLA candidates who will get to be in the legislative assembly. Coordination with us. But even otherwise, even ha after having so many handicaps and challenges, we are able to do, do good work. If you see the Tinsal Kejriwal, we have a complete report card and we've enunciated all the wonderful deeds we have done in our government. That's why right. don't you educate the men? Why don't you educate the men not to do this? I don't take too long.